Good morning, brothers and sisters. Let us now stand and pray the Novena to the Immaculate Conception. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Blessed be Mary, Mother of God and our Mother, who was conceived without original sin. Please kneel and let us all together pray the Novena Prayer. O Mary Immaculate, Lily, Lily of, purity, of Purity, from, from the, the very, very first moment of your Father, conception, you were you filled, filled with, with grace. grace. I thank and adore the Most Holy Trinity, Trinity for having imparted to you sublime favors, such as bestowal on you of this great honor. And I prostrate myself before you to beg a share of your graces. To you, O Blessed Mother, I recommend myself, and I ask you to protect me against the dangers of body and soul, most especially from the temptations against purity. Do not forsake me, Blessed Mother, because my salvation might be in peril if you would not protect me. I pledge to keep myself in a life of grace by imitating your virtues, and also through your glorious Immaculate Conception, I humbly implore you to grant me the special grace. In silence, let us pray for our petitions. which I, I seek, seek to obtain, obtain in this Novena. Amen. Amen. Prayer on the seventh day. Most, Most Holy, Holy Virgin, Virgin, to you, you I, submit I submit myself for protection because of cares arising from the evils of the world. Help me and cast upon me your merciful eyes so that I may overcome all the hardships of body, heart, and soul. Grant that I may be worthy of the grace I seek to obtain in this Novena. O my Mother, allow me not to stray from the path of virtue. Keep me always a holy child of a holy mother. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy yes. on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on God, us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of the Church, pray for us. Mother of Mercy, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother of Hope, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, Pray for us. Mother most chaste. Pray for us. Mother inviolate. Pray for us. Mother undefiled. Pray for us. Mother most amiable. Pray for us. Mother most admirable. Pray for us. Mother of good counsel. Pray for us. Mother of our Creator. Pray for us. Mother of our Savior. Pray for us. Virgin most prudent. Pray for us. Virgin most venerable. Pray for us. Virgin most renowned. Pray for us. Virgin most powerful. Pray for us. Virgin most merciful. Pray for us. Virgin most faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of justice. Pray for us. Seat of wisdom. Pray for us. Cause of our joy. Pray for us. Spiritual vessel. Pray for us. Vessel of honor. Pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion. Pray for us. Mystical rose. Pray for us. Tower of David. Pray for us. Tower of ivory. Pray for us. House of gold. Pray for us. Ark of the covenant. Pray for us. Gate of heaven. Pray for us. Morning star. 
Pray for us. Health of the sick. Pray for us. Refuge of sinners. Pray for us. Solace of migrants. Pray for us. Comforter of the afflicted. Pray for us. Help of Christians. Pray for us. Queen of angels. Pray for us. Queen of patriarchs. Pray for us. Queen of prophets. Pray for us. Queen of apostles. Pray for us. Queen of martyrs. Pray for us. Queen of confessors. Pray for us. Queen of virgins. Pray for us. Queen of all saints. Pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin. Pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven. Pray for us. Queen of the most holy rosary. Pray for us. Queen of families. Pray for us. Queen of peace. Pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. The Memorare. Remember, o most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To you do I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise that my petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. Amen. Closing prayer. O Most Amen. Blessed Virgin Mary, you who were preserved from the stain of original sin, most loving and powerful patron of the Philippines, do you also be endless praise, everlasting veneration, and thanksgiving in Christ Jesus. O Immaculate Mother, our most kind Mother, our most sweet and most exalted Queen, with grateful hearts, we praise your mercies and fly to your protection. O Blessed Lady, you who captivate with your sweetness the hearts of men, you who have captivated our hearts, you have captivated the hearts of our people also. You have established, fostered, and strengthened the foundations of the faith in our beloved land, by your good patronage, as manifested in so many visible proofs of your maternal love. We are yours. We wish to be yours. Show yourself a mother and patron to us. Guard us and protect us through your most powerful intercession. Amen. Amen. O Mary conceived without sin, Pray for us who have recourse to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please be seated and let us prepare ourselves for the Holy Mass. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the, second, to the seventh day of our Novena to the Immaculate Conception. Our presider in today's Mass is Reverend Father Luciano Feloni, parish priest of the Christonghari Parish, Quezon City. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we begin the second Sunday of Advent, Panahon ng Pagkahanda, let us ask Jesus to forgive us so that we can really prepare well. Our sins are the biggest obstacle to a life full of God. In a moment of silence, let us recall our sins. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, and to you my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have, have greatly sinned sin in my thoughts and in my, in my words, words, in what I have I done, done and in what I have failed to do, to do. through my fault, through my, through my fault, fault through my, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, and you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, may no earthly undertaking hinder those who set out in haste to meet your Son, but may our learning of heavenly wisdom gain us admittance to his company who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Baruch. Jerusalem, take off your robe of mourning and misery, put on the splendor of glory from God forever. Wrapped in the cloak of justice from God, bear on your head the mitre that displays the glory of the eternal name. For God will show all the earth your splendor. You will be named by God forever the peace of justice, the glory of God's worship. Up, Jerusalem, stand up the heights, look to the east and see your children gathered from the east and the west at the word of the Holy One, rejoicing that they are remembered by God. Led away on foot, by their enemies they left you, but God will bring them back to you, born aloft in glory as on your thrones. For God has commanded that every lofty mountain be made lowly, and that the age of depths and gorge be filled to left ground, that Israel may advance secure in the glory of God. The forest and every fragrant kind of tree have overshadowed Israel at God's command. For God is leading Israel in joy by the light of His glory with His mercy and justice for company. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. 
Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I pray always with joy in my every prayer for all of you because of your partnership for the gospel from the first day until now. I am confident of this, that the one who began a good work in you will continue to complete it until the day of Christ Jesus. God is my witness. How I long for all of you with the affection of Christ Jesus. And this is my prayer, that your love may increase ever more and more in knowledge and every kind of perception to discern what is value so that you may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Christ for the glory and praise of God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. of the Lord, make straight his paths, all flesh sh shall see the salvation of God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In the fifteenth year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea and Herod was tetrarch of Galilee, his brother Philip, tetrarch of the region of Ituria and Traconitis, and Lysanias was tetrarch of Abilene. During the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas, the word of God came to John, the son of Zechariah in the desert. John went throughout the whole region of the Jordan, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of the prophet Isaiah, a voice of one crying out in the desert, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his path. Every valley shall be filled, every mountain and hill shall be made low. The winding roads 
shall be made straight and the rough ways made smooth and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. My brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Una sa lahat po, ako ay nagpapasalamat ng malaking malaki sa Diyos sa araw na ito. First time na ako ay magmimisa sa Manila Cathedral. Kaya ho, tuwan-tuwa po ako dahil dumating ang invitation sa akin na magmisa nung ako ay nasa ospital dahil sa COVID pneumonia. Kaya nung dumating ang invitation, sabi ko kay Mama Mary, Iliktas mo ako, mimisahang kita. Mahirap po magmisa pagpatay na, di ba? No. Kaya ho, ligtas mo ako, ako ay magmimisa sa nobina mo. Andito po ako, hindi ho ako multo, totoong tao ako. Iniligtas po ako, andito po ako para magpasalamat. And I'm sure kayo rin po, andito po tayo para magpasalamat at humingi kay Mama Mary isang Pasko punong-puno ng mga biyaya ng Diyos. Biyayang material, biyayang spiritual, biyayang emosyonal. Sino pong gusto maging mapalad ang Pasko? Pagitaas ng kamay nga, nakita ni Lord. Yung mga hindi nagtaas, Lord, huwag mong pagbigyan. Ayaw nila. Okay. Or ako rin po. Parang ang mensahe ho ng Ebanghelyo ngayon is darating ang biyaya dahil darating ang Mesiyah, darating ang Diyos, at darating lahat ng biyaya kasama ang Diyos. Ngunit, kailangan maghanda ka. Hindi lang umasa, hindi lang maghintay, kundi maghanda. Yun po yung focus feeling ko ng, ng Ebanghelyo ngayon. There is something na kailangan, you have to prepare. There is something to prepare. Not only to wait, not only to hope, Not only to wish, but to prepare. Kumbaga, parang nasa ating ding ang bola. Kung gusto mo talagang maging maayos, the Lord will do His part 100% sure, but you have to do your part. So pagnilayan natin kung paano maging handa. Before that, I want to say, thanks God, ngayong pong araw na ito, nakalabas for the first time uh, almost after two years yung mga kabataan ng tulay ng kabataan na nagsisimba palagpakan po natin sila welcome back po ganun din po sa mga nagsisimba sa labas pumalagpak po kayo para marinig namin kung narinig nyo kami alam tamlay naman lakasan nyo naman ayun very good mga kapatid Dalawang bagay kailang ihanda. Feeling ko yung unang kailang ihanda ang ugali. Because the beginning of the reading makes very clear that God speaks to the simple. Kaya ho yung listahan ng mga, yung mga malalaking pangalang. Ah, nung panahon na yan, si Poncio Pilato, si Tiberius. Parang ito si St. Luke may humor eh. Nababanggit, nung panahon na lahat po ito ay sikat, ang Diyos ay nagsalita kay John the Baptist, hindi sa kanila. Kapag masyado kang puno, hindi ka pwedeng punuin ng Diyos. And that's the first thing. Prepare yourself by being empty enough so that the Lord can fill you. The opposite of being empty enough is being totally full of yourself punong puno sa sarili. Kumbaga, mga kapatid, to make it simple, simpleng-simpleng salita, kung malaki ang iyong ulo, huwag mong umasa pa ng mga biyaya ng Diyos. Dahil walang paglalagyan ang isang puso, ang isang ulo na puno sa sarili. Kapag malaki ang ulo, walang biyaya. Amen? Malinaw ba yun? The moment that we become too self-righteous, too akala mo at alam mo lahat, that's the moment that God stops talking to you. Because He speaks to the lowly, He talks to those who are empty enough to wait for Him 
to search him. Speaking of puno sa sarili, I had one experience of humility a few years ago. I was in SM North. May nabili ako sa SM North. Tapos biglang pababa ako sa escalator. May, may nakita na pababa. May lumapit ng babae. Uy, uy, ang gwapo. Tuwan-tuwa ako, siyempre. Tapos may tumagbo pang isa. Uy, uy, ang gwapo, gwapo. Ay, talagang ano na ako eh. Pwestong-pwesto pa. Tapos may tumagbo na pa mas maraming. Ay, ang gwapo, ang gwapo. Nagduda na ako. So, lumingong ako. Yung pala si Ding Don Dante ay nasa likod ko. They were shooting a movie and pinapractice ko yung pagbaba. And, uh, ayan, nakatikim ako. No? Yung, yung kapag feeling mo masyado, the Lord can do anything when you are too mas- masyado kang feeling. Kung feeling ka laging tama, halimbawa ho, baka dito may mag-asawa pag nag kayo, laging tama siya, alam niyan lahat. Ayaw magpatalo. Alam niyo, nagbuo ako ng kasabihan dito sa Pilipinas. Kapag ikaw ay laging tama, may tama ka. <laughs> Dahil, hindi po ganyan ang buhay eh. How many times you realize that you were wrong, you misjudge a person, pero if you feel na alam mo ang lahat, the Lord cannot operate in your life. Ang ulong malaki, hindi mapasog ng Diyos. No, no place, no space. And this is the first preparation. Are you humble enough? Are you humble enough to listen? Sa bahay, are you humble enough to listen to your children? sa asawa mo, o ikaw laging masunod, ikaw lagi ang may tama, ikaw laging may alam ng dapat gawin. When you are humble enough to listen, the Lord speaks. When you are open enough to learn, the Lord teaches. When you are humble enough to let the Lord know that you may have a need, the Lord fulfills your need. Pero sa mga malalaki ang ulo, hindi nagsalita ang Diyos. Kaya po umpisa ng Ebanghelyo, hanggang sa katapusan, ang Diyos hindi nagsalita sa mga mayayabang na ito. You will remember Pontius Pilate telling Jesus, hindi mo ako kinakausap, hindi mo alam kung sino ako. Umpisa hanggang pagtatapos, hindi inausap ng Diyos ang tao puno sa sarili. And so that's the first preparation, yung ating ugali. Pangalawang preparation ho is very practical. Sabi ni Propeta Isaias, Every valley shall be filled, every mountain shall be made low. May kailangan dagdagan, at may kailangan bawasan. And I think I would like to to give you this question para iuwi ninyo sa bahay. Sa buhay ko ngayon, ano bang kailangan dagdagan at ano bang kailangan bawasan? Na ang buhay ko hindi maayos, hindi masaya, hindi mapayapa, hindi kompleto, dahil may sobra sa buhay ko na nakakasira nito. O di kaya may kulang sa buhay ko na nakakasirang ito. Halimbawa, matagal na hindi ako nagsisimba. Baka yung po yun. You have to go back to a life of prayer para makamit ng kapayapaan. O baka sobra ho yung, yung pang-mobile legend mo. Makapong it dyan, tutok sa cellphone at mobile legend na mobile legend. At nawala yung panahon, hindi kayo nag-usap sa bahay, no time to share, no time to talk. Ano ang kulang at ano ang sobra? Dahil ang ating mahabagin Diyos, binigyan tayo ng pakakataon every Advent na bawasan yung sobra at dagdagan ng kulang, preparing the way for the great blessing that He is going to give us. Naniniwala po ako ng buong puso 
na gustong gusto ng Diyos na maging mapalag ang buhay natin. Kung may kalaban ho, tayo mismo po yan. So this is a Sunday to look at yourself in the mirror and ask these two important questions. Number one, kamustang ulo ko? Malaki bang ulo ko? Can I listen to people? Or masyado ako puno sa sarili? And question number two is, ano bang kailangan dagdagan? Ano bang kailangan bawasan para ang buhay ko ay maging mapayapa? Mga kapatid, we all want a blessed Christmas. Pagod na pagod na tayo sa pandemyang ito. Amen? Amen ba? Napapagod na ba kayo kay COVID? Gusto nating matapos ito. Gusto nating isang buhay na normal. Gusto nating isang buhay na... But minsan, ang ayaw nating is ang pagbabago. Kaya ho ang mensahe ng Adbientong ito is, if you want a blessing, prepare for a blessing. If you want a different life, you have to have a different attitude. If you want a different life, you have to have a different lifestyle. If you want a different happiness, you have to do different things. A blessed life ay hindi balik tayo sa 2019. A blessed life will be a 2022 na may bagong ugali, bagong pag-asa, bagong pananampalataya. Lumapit po tayo sa ating mahal na ina. We all need it very, very badly. Andito po tayo, puno ng maraming bagay. And so let me finish with a prayer. May I invite you to close your eyes for a while. Panginoong Jesus, andito po kami. Nagnonobina kay Mama Mary. Nagtitiwala po kami sa iyong mahal na ina. Ipinakatiwala mo kami sa kanya, Panginoon. Alam ni Mama Mary, Panginoong Jesus, alam mo kung anong pinagdadaanan ng bawat isa sa amin sa oras na ito. Kung anong pagsubog, kung anong problema, kung anong pinagdadaanan po ng aming pamilya, kung anong pinagdadaanan ng aming kalusugan. Minsan, Panginoon, nabibigatan na po kami. Minsan, nalulungkot at minsan dumidilim po ang aming pag-asa. Kaya ho, Panginoon, salamat sa Adbientong ito, bukal ng panibagong pag-asa at pananaw. Jesus, turuan mo kami maging magpakumbaba simple tulad ni Juan Bautista. Tulungan mo kami, Panginoon, bawasan ang mga bagay na nakakasira sa amin at dagdagan ang mga bagay na makakatulong sa amin. Yes, Lord, naniniwala po kami sa iyong mga pangakong biyaya, but alam po namin na kailangan maging handa ang sisidlan upang tanggapin ang biyayang ito. Ang lahat ng ito, Jesus, itinataas namin sa iyo na nabubuhay at naghahari ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Sa ngala ng Ama at ng Anak at ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. Let us all rise now and proclaim our faith together as we say, I believe in one God. Father. The Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. John the Baptist proclaimed that all mankind will see the salvation of God. Therefore, we pray confidently for the needs of all God's children.
Lord, hear our prayer. That the Catholic Church may be pure and blameless in all her members. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who direct our lives by laws and regulations may always seek the good of all men, women, and children. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That people without faith may discover that the Lord has done great things for us and be filled with joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our hopes for our world may be fulfilled as the Lord leads us to Christmas. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For our brothers and sisters with disabilities and those who are living with HIV AIDS, that they may constantly experience the love of God through our care and concern for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. our prayer. That the eternal light of salvation may shine upon those who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our hear our prayer. Almighty and merciful God, for you all things are possible. Fulfill our hopes and intentions as we confidently pray to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this, my sacrifice and yours, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings, and since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, 
always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus our Lord, for he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, he who watched for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so, Father, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, San Lorenzo Ruiz, San Pedro Calungsot, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity 
your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Archbishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for you. Listen graciously, Father, to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you as they are passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father with the prayer Jesus gave us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your friends, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Please look not on our sins, but on our faith, and grant us the peace and the unity of your kingdom, where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, world. Have, mercy have mercy on us. On us. Lamb, of, Lamb God, of God, you take you away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. How happy are we that once again are invited to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Wie ist dein? Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a while. Bago po natin tanggapin ang pagbabasbas at tapusin ang ating pagdiriwang ng banal na misa, ay nais ko pong magpasalamat sa inyong lahat sa pagdalo sa ating misa ngayong umaga dito sa Manila Cathedral. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagpunta ngayon, lalong-lalo na po sa ating mga kapatid na matsagang nagsisimba sa labas. Maraming salamat po sa ating Manila Cathedral staff and, and servants na naglilingkod sa ating pagdiriwang sa banal na misa. We also wish to greet the Board of Trustees, the officers and members of the Cofradia de la Inmaculada Concepcion. Ngayon po ay first Sunday of December. And in normal situations, on the first Sunday of December each year, this cathedral and the streets of Intramuros would have been filled with people dahil po tuwing first Sunday ng December ang ating Intramuros Grand Marian Procession which they call as the mother of all Marian processions in the Philippines. Ito na po ang ikalawang taon na hindi natin ginaganap ang Marian Procession dahil sa pandemic. At uh, nananalangin po tayo na sana awa ng Diyos sa isang taon ay maituloy na natin ang napakagandang tradisyon na ito dito sa Intramuros. We thank the members of the Cofradia for attending our Mass this morning and for all the things that you are doing to propagate the devotion to Our Lady. And in a very, very special way, we wish to thank our presider, this morning, Reverend Father Luciano Feloni. Palakpakan po natin si Father. Father is a priest of the Diocese of Novaliches, and currently he is parish priest of Christong Hari Parish along Commonwealth Avenue in Quezon City. Nagpapatayo po si Father ng isang napakalaking simbahan which is also the shrine of the youth in the Diocese of Novaliches. At uh, kanina po, nung dumating si Father, ay na-starstruck ako. Kasi si Father, pinapanood ko lang sa Facebook. One of the, he is one of the priests who use the social media in proclaiming the Word of God. Araw-araw po, pinapanood ko yung kanyang almusalita ni Father Luciano Feloni. I-like niyo po yung page niya at i-share dahil tuwing umaga ay nagbabahagi si Father ng mga simpleng pagninilay tungkol sa Ebanghelyo para sa araw na iyon. And um, we are happy that He is here with us today to bless us, to celebrate this Eucharist with us, and to uh, enrich us no, through His reflections and His uh, presence. Nabanggit po ni Father kanina na nung nagpadala kami ng message, no, message nga lang yung pinadala namin para imbitahan siya sa misang ito, ay nasa ospital pa siya. No, hindi namin alam na nasa ospital pa siya. Kaya hiyang-hiya po kami nung malaman namin na nagpapagaling pa si Father eh, na istorbo na namin sa kanyang, sa pag invite sa kanya. But we are very honored, Father, for being here, for your presence and for being here with us this morning. And uh, we thank you no, because uh, uh, our online uh, masses in many ways is a response to your advocacy, to your call. No? Palagi po niyang sinasabi, even before the pandemic, sinasabi ni Father that we are all called to be cyber missionaries. No? Gamitin natin yung cyberspace, the social media, the internet in order to proclaim God's word. And... Uh, Sa ngayon, ang dami-dami ng uh, uh, 
parokya, communities, mga pari at mga laiko na nagpapahayag ng salita ng Diyos sa pamamagitan ng social media. No? At si Father, I would consider as one of the pioneers in the Philippines. No? Father is uh, from Argentina, no? pero Pilipinong Pilipino sa puso at sa pagsasalita. No? Uh, kababayan po siya ni Pope Francis. And so, Father, once again, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong presensya ngayong umagang ito. This coming Wednesday will be the Solemnity of the Immaculate Conception. Ang mga misa po natin dito sa Manila Cathedral ay 8 o'clock and 11 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and 6 o'clock in the evening. The 6 o'clock in the evening Mass will be presided by our Archbishop, Cardinal Jose Advincula, at sa misa rin pong ito, ay i-invest si Cardinal Advincula ng pallium. No? Isa po yung uh, uh, part of the vestment of an archbishop as a symbol that he is an archbishop. No? Ang pallium po ay nagmula kay Pope Francis na ibibigay kay Cardinal Advincula ng ating apostolic nuncio, the representative of the Pope in the Philippines. Para po sa iba pang mga detalye ng ating schedules at ating mga activities para sa fiesta at sa darating na simbang gabi at kapaskuhan, maaari nyo pong uh, bisitahin ang Facebook page ng Manila Cathedral para kayo ma-update sa ating mga schedules and activities. Muli po, maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Let us now stand and receive the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow your heads in a moment of silence to prepare your hearts to receive the final blessing. May the Almighty and merciful God, by whose grace you have placed your faith in the first coming of His only begotten Son and yearn for His coming again, sanctify you by the radiance of Christ's advent and enrich you with his blessings. Amen. As you run the race of this present life, may he make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Amen. So that rejoicing now with devotion at the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life when he comes again in majesty. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go with the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Oh, my God.